Israel and Canada have a very special relationship, including the city of Winnipeg. The Canadian Friends of the Hebrew University have promised $50 million towards a brand new medical research center located at Hebrew U. And it's not just about education, but strengthening the ties between two countries. I live in a, in a dual, uh, dual being. One is Canada and one is Israel. And I have a passion for both places. And me and my family had a great uh, time and difficult time to leave Winnipeg. But we still call Winnipeg our hometown. And we are uh, looking at ourselves as, a, as an export to Toronto. But it's only temporary and I hope that one day we'll be able to come back home to Winnipeg. I think that the Canadian friends are, uh, are a bridge that connects Canada and the supporter of Israel in Canada and the supporter of science in Canada and the supporter of humanity in Canada to Israel. We playing uh, uh, actually as a bridge that connects people, that connects uh, scientists, that connects ideas, that stimulates ideas. I feel that uh, the relationship between Canada and Israel are beautiful, but it's our duty to pour substance into them. And the Canadian Friends of the Hebrew University took up on themselves to provide this platform in creating the right atmosphere and the right environment to create this substance. We feel that uh, it's, a great, uh, it's a great honor for us to be able to do two things. And the two things is to be able to work with the good side of the people. Because the people who provide the tool, and money is a tool. You know, we gave a lot of money and scholarship here tonight. But in my, in my opinion, you know, we are focused on the target. And the target is to do good. And to do good, you need a tool, and the tool is the money. And we raised a lot of money, we distribute a lot of money to a lot of beautiful, brilliant people who hopefully will be able to enhance this very special connection between Canada and Israel. This is Hebrew University's shining star, the new Institute for Medical Research Israel-Canada. A community of top scientists work in a multidisciplinary approach to finding cures for modern diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and HIV. A new dialogue has begun between Israeli and Canadian researchers to help solve some of today's most challenging health issues. So we are working on uh, immune cells which should attack the HIV infected cells. Uh, and that's my interest. So uh, we are working on mechanisms of how HIV and other virus, other viruses, uh, escape uh, this attack. Hopefully, to find an, an answer to these escape escaping mechanisms. And now you found a counterpart miles and miles away from you. So how how did that story all evolve, and how did you get to meet up with the Winnipeg doctor? It's all started by uh, via email. Uh, we thought about a joint project, and actually the joint project would be oh, how to prevent the transmission of HIV from mothers to their babies. So, um, so actually we're also working, the immune cells that we're working on also, are also found in the point of contact between mom and baby. And we think that they might play a role in the transmission of HIV from the mother to the baby. So actually Dr. Palmer studied women that are, are kind of resistant to uh, HIV infection. And he actually discovered a unique molecule which is found on the uh, fetal, fetal cell, on the baby cells. Uh, and it's unique because it's expressed, this variant is expressed only in these, uh, in these women. So that's why we are going to uh, joint effort in studying this particular molecule. Maybe this molecule, which is called HLAG, a particular form of this molecule, is the reason for why HIV is not transmitted in, in these women from the mothers to the babies. And what does this institute, Emmerich, mean? I know it means a lot to what you're doing now, but to doctors like you in general, where? Well, I think it's, it is going to be maybe the biggest uh, medical uh, institute in Israel. I think it will, it will join our forces together. So it will bring, we, we will all be sitting in the same building, in the same environment, uh, it will bring more ideas, more funds, more collaboration among us and between us and, and the Canadians. And I think it, in general it will advance science and medicine. So the work that we do, we are, we are trying to understand how genes are turned on and how genes are turned off. 
We like to understand this phenomena both during normal development as well as during cancer development. And that will help us to figure out how we can prevent cancer from occurring or treating cancer. What we think is exciting is that we think that epigenetic regulation is a big part of turning a, a cell to a cancer cell and we would like to understand what's happening there and as I said how we can treat cancer cells and how we prevent but mostly to understand the basic phenomenon that underlies the cancer's phenotype. I love teaching and I love the contact with my students. This is a very big part of being a scientist. I prefer being with my students. They are my kids' lab. So I, I treat them as my kids. I care about them. I like to talk science to them. They are my mates for talking science. Um, I always loved science since I was like little. Um, and even in high school in the summer, I used to work in a lab um, since then, I always, I, I kind of always wanted to do research, so <laughs> just following through. Everybody that works in the department is really sweet and really nice. Um, one of the things I was concerned about before I came is that people were like, doing. I'm used to doing research in the states. Like you order something one day and it comes the next. Um, here it's a little bit different, but like everything is available. The facilities are great. I've never felt anything lacking. In terms of the atmosphere, I think that. I think that there are really like warm uh, labs in the States as well, but um, definitely the atmosphere here is very like family, kind of like everybody tries to help each other out. But I don't, I don't think that that's necessarily different than in the States. Well, what I would say is different though is that like in terms of the research, um, like you feel like sometimes because you're not in the States, like you're not in the center, you need to like, your research needs to be that much better like in order to, to prove yourself like maybe like people would accept it more coming from an institution in the states and here you need even more so to prove yourself the science has to be more exact which is which is also good you know what i mean like that the science needs to be that much better you can't delve into in medical problems without having a much richer and wider understanding of biology in general and this is very difficult for an individual to do but it's much easier when you put together a whole bunch of people t uh, to think about common problems. And that's what's been happening now at the Hebrew University. Um, the establishment of IMRIC, Institute for Medical Research Canada, Israel Canada. And it's a wonderful direction because it's added a lot of depth and a lot of me much more meaning to the work that each individual person is doing.